Hey y'all, it's Marce Martin, and I want to welcome you to our incredible show, CEO Presented by Walmart. And you know, the title is a play on CEO, the acronym of Chief Executive Officer. And we mix that in with the word she because around here, we think fierce women and especially powerful women of color should be profiled, lifted up, and listened to for their advice, their wisdom, and the inspiration that they bring. Today, we are super excited to have Veronica Shaw, famously known as Chef P with us. Chef P is a private chef and a TikTok creator, and she is the founder of the very, very viral famous pink sauce that has taken the internet by storm. Inspired by art and multicultural culinary traditions, Chef P has cultivated her style of cooking and just experimenting by infusing ethnic traditions that she's learned over many, many years. And today, Chef P and her pink sauce are partnered with Dave's Gourmet, as well as all the Walmarts nationwide for distribution. Chef P? Welcome to CEO presented by Walmart. Hey, hey should be in the building. <laughs> oh my goodness. I am so excited <laughs> to have you. You know, I'm a I'm a Gen Zer, so I'll be on TikTok often. So yeah. I I am completely I, I know you. You say you were from Miami. Yes. <laughs> the party place. Tell us about how how it was growing up there. It's extremely multicultural. I would say Miami is the bottom. So like everybody mm. here know how to hustle. Everybody mm-hmm. know how to grind. Um, so you would say you got your grind from from that. Absolutely. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. And tell us about like your family background as well. I know you're raised by your grandmother. So my mom passed away when I was a month old. Oh, wow. um, and I was raised by my grandmother, but she was like, it was like hell's kitchen. So oh. like. She was, like, extremely strict, but really loving. Mm -hmm. So, like, she was very precise with uh, texture and flavors and consistency. So that's, like, where my passion rose in the kitchen. Yeah. It started off by, like, peeling garlic. And then when she realized, oh, she good at this, then she like, yeah, you coming in the kitchen to work now. Okay. Okay, babe. Yeah, How so, old were you when you uh, started cooking? I was eight. She was eight? I was eight years Chef old. Chef up at eight? Yeah. So, well, how it started is, like, say if I went over to your grandmother's house, uh-huh. instead of going out in the backyard, I would go in the kitchen. Do you need help? And then that's how I picked up my friend's cultural tradition. Mm. Do you remember your first meal that you made? I want to say I was like 13 years old and okay. my mom had just came and I call my grandmother my mom. Mm-hmm. She just came home from work and I made like some macaroni and cheese and blueberry muffins oh, and my like goodness. baked chicken and I like dressed up the table and I just, yeah, that was like a meal close to my heart. <laughs> yeah, that's sweet. Well, then fast forward to now. I mean, the following is huge. You have an amazing audience around you. Yes. You were kind of like on this path of success even before the the viral situation because yes. you were best chef in Miami. I was nominated as one of the best chefs in Miami. That's My dope. private chef career is like off the bonkers. Like if you come to Miami to book a chef, you're booking Chef P or you heard mm. of Chef P. Well, how'd you get known like that? Like how? Like word of mouth. It? Word of mouth. Got you. Got word you. Word of mouth. So. Can you can you pinpoint a time where you kind of knew your private chef profession was going to take off? During the pandemic, so oh, I was you. a full time nursing student. Oh, yes. So <laughs> I went from being a nursing student to making like twenty five thousand dollars a month independently. So it was like crazy. Whoa! So you were kind of yes. Were you juggling that at the same time? I was, and then I dropped out. Then you dropped it. You kind of found your passion. Yes, which I can cooking. work for twenty hours straight mm. behind the kitchen. And I go home with a smile on my face. Like, Happy, excited, yes. ready for the next day. Yes. Like, take us through the process of just constantly growing your fan base. Okay, so I want to say since, like, 2018, uh-huh. like, I always had, like, big dreams of going viral. But it was, like, on YouTube. I did, like, fitness videos and mm-hmm. stuff like that. It was like, <laughs> I got this urge, and I just kept saying, like, you can go viral overnight. It literally takes one day that can change your entire life. Mm-hmm. And it happened. Oh, my God. So 
I say that it was always intentional. I have my vision boards. I have letters that I wrote to myself about accomplishing these goals, but it was for other products. And yeah, but I had a plan of going viral and I went viral. Yeah, well, <laughs> listen, you definitely did because I saw it immediately, like for you page pop up. That's all they're talking about. Pink sauce, pink sauce, pink sauce. We're going to try it out. I'm like, that's crazy. Yes. You knew always that you that you were going to be viral some, some way. Oh, somehow. absolutely. How did it feel? And how fast was it just was the following and the transition for you? Well, you know, you have to be careful what you ask for because Facts. you have to... You have to know if you're strong enough for that, mm -hmm. right? Because when you're viral, it opens your life up to everyone else's opinions, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So 2021, I opened a restaurant, which is okay. actually where the pink sauce was created. Oh, okay. So when I invented the sauce, it was more like, I want a sauce like me. Like, you know, I'm flamboyant, <laughs> you know, like... I'm beautiful. Mm -hmm. My food is absolutely delicious. So I'm like, you know, why not make a pink sauce? So like one of my friends, she like, well, you know, you call yourself like this top of the line chef. You can't put out a pink sauce with an artificial color. Mm -hmm. But long story short, I used to suffer with anxiety and depression. Mm -hmm. So Heightening the magnesium levels in your body really, really helps with anxiety. So that's how I like built this relationship with Red Dragon Fruit. So I was like, okay, well, let's put it in the sauce. Let's add it in. It, it worked perfectly. That's amazing. And also, what are one of the biggest challenges of you getting your stuff out there and your voice to be heard in general? So, um, my restaurant was short-lived. It was mm. open for about six months. Got you. And I literally almost committed suicide. I'm not going to lie. Hear me out. Okay. That was one of the biggest goals of my life at the time. Mm. Like, I accomplished that. I opened that restaurant with my own money. Mm -hmm. I worked hard to do it. And I lost it. Mm. And it was like, wow, for you to think so high of yourself now, when people ask you, where's your restaurant, girl? Mm. You open it. And then it's like, no, no, we closed or whatever, you know? So I beat myself up about that for like six months. And then when I came out and told people the restaurant was closed, Nobody even knew. Mm -hmm. So it was like I was beating myself up for no reason, you know? So 2022 comes and the pink sauce goes viral. Which brought you back up. Which brought me back to that moment mm -hmm. from when I went through my first failure, mm -hmm. right? And if I didn't go through that failure, I wouldn't be who I am today, I would have broken, you know? So it was like me taking myself through my own self-sabotage gave me strength when I was sabotaged by the world or persecuted mm. by the world. I had the most confidence within myself yeah. because I was sure of me mm. and I knew my mission Absolutely. overall. Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, going back to just having the pinkiest of pinkest sauce <laughs> on the planet, I want to know, aside from the social media part of it all, it went into stores. Yeah. How was that for you? And even, like, just the process in general of just it being on the shelves. It's only the beginning. Mm. Um, I've been doing a lot of research and I'm actually like working on opening my own manufacturing facility. Amazing. Yeah, like and I wanna have pasta, bread, sauce, mm. restaurants. I wanna give back to the planet. I wanna start a trend of restaurants actually producing their own food mm. and 
supplying the restaurant to give back to Mother Earth, you know? Exactly. Yeah. So why mm -hmm. is that so important for a business? Well, it's important for the business to stand on its own. However, where I'm coming from with it, it's like, kind of like Oprah, you know, when she got <laughs> fired, like, it was like, oh, you can't do that. Yeah. Then it's like, no, I can do it mm -hmm. and I'm going to do it and I'm going to show you. Take us through the how. How how was it for you, step by step, getting that done? Okay, so I partnered with Dave's Gourmet. Mm -hmm. They picked up the manufacturing, the coloring of the sauce and the flavors and everything. That's more so where I came in. So if I wanted to get the pink sauce somewhere, mm -hmm. where do we got to go to find it so we can, you know, add so a little plug in? So, of course, you could get it at Walmart okay, okay. or Walmart.com or ThePinkSauce.com. Okay, it got its own website? Yes. Okay, okay. What would you say to those young people out there that want to start a business or even just women of color that really just want to step out there, aside from the failures that they've had in the past? I would say, be true to yourself. You can't care about what the world thinks. Like, mm -hmm. if you care, like, you have to be sure of yourself, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think with social media, it's like an amazing thing, but then also, we have to exercise our actual, like, being a human, you right. know? And when you learn how to separate those two and, like, it's like, I am who I am. I am going to be the best that I can be mm. at who I am, you know? Yeah. My hair is pink. I'm going to have the brightest, pinkest hair ever. My sauce is pink. I'm going to have the best sauce on the shelves Absolutely. in all of the nations. The CEO boss-like mindset, <laughs> and I love that. Was there anything that came with that? Were people calling you immediately? Did you have to speak up for yourself in a certain way now that you hadn't had the strong social media platform? Like, tell us a little bit more about being a CEO in your own way on the social media side. I convict myself of being who I am so just displaying and being the best chef P that I can be for my audience, mm -hmm. um, teaching people new things, also sharing my mind in a positive way, but letting trolls know that, hey, I love you. You need love too. It's mm -hmm. okay. And then also letting young girls know and inspiring young girls like this is another path that you could take like you know you could still have colorful hair and you can be yourself and run a business you right. know you Facts. don't you don't have to display your body in ways that you may regret in, in the future, the future mm. you know just to make money at a at a young age, you know? Mm -hmm. Just inspiring young girls like, hey, I was a bad kid. I ran away at the age of 15 years old. Like, I had my son when I was 16 years old. Mm -hmm. And look where I am now, you know? Um, just letting them know that you can find a way positively. That's beautiful. Also, I, I want to know your advice and your take on other CEOs overall. Like, there's there's a lot of CEOs that play more behind the scenes than in front of. You're kind of doing both. What would you say to other CEOs? Okay, well, I will give a few lessons from, like, what I've learned. Mm -hmm. If you have an amazing creation that you think will go viral, mm -hmm. then pre-plan and like be prepared for that. Because like, say for the pink sauce, I didn't know that it was gonna go like viral overnight. Mm -hmm. So I would say be prepared for that. Also, when you're putting your brand out and you're putting your 
face on the brand, you have to be prepared for the impact that is going to cause on your life because you're welcoming people into your business, your business structure, your mm -hmm. family, your personal life and everything else versus just putting out a brand. All you have to worry about is the brand identity and, you know, photo shoots for your product and, you know, just building a lifestyle for your actual brand versus, you know, everything. Yeah. <laughs> Well, some of the key terms that we use here are resilience and persistence. Mm -hmm. Tell me how those words can connect to your life and your business story. I've been surviving all my life. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like when you have nothing, um, how can you give up? Mm -hmm. You know, it's like you keep going blind. Like I walk down a road blindly all the time with faith mm -hmm. and believing. So that's where my persistence come in. Mm -hmm. I did a run for, it was about 11 miles. Mm -hmm. And it was my first time ever doing like a 11 mile run. Mm -hmm. And... I didn't know how I was going to get to the end, but I kept going mm -hmm. and I got back just fine. And it's just like simple things like that shows me that, yeah, you just have to keep going. I understand completely. And I, I want to know also, like, how do you deal with criticism? Because we were talking about the trolls a little bit. Mm. How how do you deal with that in just navigating like, you know what? Let me block the haters out, keep moving forward. How how do you how do you do that for yourself? It's challenging yeah. at times. I'll say if it's unbearable, then I'll just remove myself and, and take a break. Mm -hmm. But it's my world, mm -hmm. you know? So no one can come into my world and Mess give their opinion, mm -hmm. you know? So I'm happy in that place. Mm -hmm. I am writing a book. Oh my gosh. Okay. The law of attraction. So it's about like kind of the law of attraction and acceptance mm -hmm. and like my life journey and the things that I've gone through, but then also proving my testimony and certain things that I've attracted into my life. And you may see me on a big screen somewhere. Listen, so. manifestation is big. <laughs> Listen, you put yourself on the ground, it will, we will make it happen for sure. Yes. Um, I genuinely admire you so much and how you are just unapologetically yourself all the time. And I am so glad and happy to have you here. <laughs> and so nice talking to you. Thank you. And you just encouraged me to go to Miami a little bit to try different things and different different foods and different traditions. <laughs> yeah. So thank you so much for being here. <laughs> thank you. And I just wish continued success for you. For sure. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Self-made and once nominated as Best Chef in Miami, Veronica Shaw, a.k.a. Chef P, has proved over and over that nothing can keep her down. She launched a thriving private chef business, a restaurant, a buzzing social media platform, and of course, the incredible viral sensation that is pink sauce. And challenges aside, she is a solution finder, and her sheer resilience is inspiring. She is proof positive that if you are determined and if you lead with what you love, nothing can stop you. Thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to check out all of our other CEO episodes presented by Walmart.